I was 57 when I was diagnosed with bipolar. It was one of the best days of my life. I now had a face to my enemy. My bipolar was triggered at the age of eight when I had to face a major trauma. I've been seeing counsellors and psychiatrists ever since. I was given many different diagnoses over the years, introvert anger and personality disorder. I was told once that I probably wasn't manic depressive and I was so glad as that sounded very frightening. When I was diagnosed, I was put on mood stabilising medication, but within a month I'd lost my hair and my liver and kidneys were failing. The morning my hair fell out was very scary. I was having a shower and felt the water around my ankles. My hair was blocking the plug. I felt lost and lonely. I couldn't find any support. And I thought of the many other people who were in the same situation as me, and I decided to start a bipolar self-help group. Bipolar is a genetic disorder that can skip generations and is caused by a chemical imbalance in the brain. It's just as much an illness as a broken limb. You just can't see it. It's like being on a seesaw. It's very difficult for me to stay level as I'm either up or down. I've looked back and wondered what my life would have been like if I'd been diagnosed earlier. If is such a small word with huge connotations. My illness has made me the person I am today. I'd spent thousands of hours researching how I could use self-help management to control my illness. But as a group, we found it difficult to explain to our friends and family what it was like to be bipolar. These thoughts eventually gave birth to my idea of the education boards, which have already helped many families to work together. I'm more positive about my life now that I'm 61 and have a greater control over my illness. Yes, I still get highs and lows, but they are more manageable. I have a new partner, Dennis. We have been together for six years. He has taken time to understand me, and I now look at my bipolar in a new light. I embrace the creativity it gives me, and my enemy has now become my friend.